Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Connect series. My name is Adrian Fernandez and I'm joined by my co-host Nick Smith. And as always, we're excited to bring new individuals to talk about some of the up and coming technology TI is bringing to the market to help developers connect their applications and products. And today is no different. Today we're joined by William Go from our systems team to introduce a new addition to our portfolio in the in the form factor of modules. Uh, so thank you, Will, for, for joining us today. Really happy to have you on. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll go ahead and jump right in because this is an, an exciting topic. I know a lot of developers are interested in these different types of form factors. So maybe we start there. Uh, you know, what's what's so unique about modules compared to, let's say, a, a chip down type of solution? Yeah, that's a great question. So what you know modules bring to, to customers in general is the ease of design there where a module has everything integrated in there from the passives to the crystals to all of the necessary components uh, including certification itself for, for, for the module all in a single package for the customer and, and this really helps the customer to get their design going much quicker they don't have to worry about any RF layouts they don't have to worry about the intricacies of, of uh, a radio technology there uh, it really enables them to, to go to production much quicker in this case there, where customers may just want to, to, to prototype something, a, a product, or enable wireless communication in their product, and they don't have the necessary expertise uh, in, 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 their, uh, in their shop there, uh, where potentially it could be you know, where the cost of designing it can be very, very expensive, prohibitive, especially in, in the equipment side of things. Equipment could cost from the range of $40,000, $50,000 and more, depending on what you need. If you're talking about a spectrum analyzer or a network analyzer, just to, to, to tune and calibrate your um, RF design there, potentially there. Uh, that's one aspect of it. And then of course, the other aspect of, of why module you know, versus chip down, it really comes down to having these modules here be uh, pre-certified for you, where we ensure that the, 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 the modules are certified against FCC, you know, CC, CE, Etsy, where you can actually easily go into production within the Americas, in Europe or Canada and anywhere else in the world there um, and really help you to, to save a lot of cost there it's, it itself also. Certifying within all of these uh, different bodies can be very, very expensive as well. So this is where we are uh, holding on to, to or we're, we're ex, uh, ex doing all of this expense on our on our end so that you can go to production much quicker and also at a, at a much lower cost of, of uh, from your end also. Got it, yeah, it makes sense. So, you know, maybe for people who aren't RF uh, hardware design experts, somebody who wants to get to the market, Quickly, somebody who wants to have a form factor with everything pre-integrated, modules are a better way to go. And I know there, there's also several different types and styles of modules. Can you tell us about some of those? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there, I would say, you know, there are two buckets of, of modules for, for, for what we see here. The first one is where you see the traditional module, super big size where you, they will use the traditional chip down version, package version of the QFM wireless module, for example, and, and, and you'll see all of the passive components in there, and then you'll see a big giant metal shield on top of the module itself there. That's one that where you know, we, we see a bulk of those in the, in the market. Those are very easy to, to, to make and manufacture. And then there's the other aspect of the module where a lot of it, the components are integrated into a a molded compound package, a much, much more small, much smaller size package. And to, to, to show you a, a, a reference point of how small uh, this package that we're releasing here is, you know, this is a seven by seven package that you'll see here. And everything that you see that uh, on, on a launch pad, on, on a CC2642 or CC2652 launch pad, all of those components on there on the RF front end is being integrated into a small little tiny seven by seven package. So where this package comes in uh, for, for the small size really addresses two things for, for the customers at the end of the day. One is you get a certified wireless module where you can go to production much quicker, where, we, you know, we, where I just described earlier. And the second piece is you know, if you have a space constraint application for, for what you're trying to do, uh, trying to, to, to squeeze you know, in a small size, let's say, 
could be a circuit breaker application, for example, where you're so space constrained that you need everything to be integrated as small as you can uh, and, and go to, to production as quick as possible as well. That's awesome. So, so I guess maybe just to, to summarize, uh, the modules, that might give you some of the benefits in terms of ease of use, uh, encapsulating some of the RF complexity into a pre-certified module. Uh, that's sort of the, I guess, the primary benefit of, of the module use case versus system and package um, that not only encompasses some of the benefits of the module, but takes it a step further by bringing that into a much tighter form factor. Um, so that, that's really cool to, to kind of hear the, the differences there and the, and the nuance. Um, so Texas Instruments, as you mentioned, is bringing to market some, some new, I guess, system and package solutions. Could you tell us a little bit more about that and maybe how a developer can get started? Yeah, absolutely. So we just uh, uh, launched, we just uh, released it on onto the web. So you can actually go to the web. The link will be part of this video here. Uh, you you can start sampling this. You can also start sampling the launchpad itself also. So these two items are available now on, on our TI store. Uh, the data sheet is online, the software, the SDKs, all of the software are available for you, customer here, to start evaluating this uh, from, from today onwards uh, and, and, and go to production. Got it. Yeah, th thanks, Will. And maybe can you tell us a little bit about uh, the module itself, what technologies it's for, what, what we're targeting, um, and then, may, of course, maybe give us, a, give us a good look at it and show us that, that small form factor. Yeah, no, absolutely. So this Bluetooth technology, I'm um, sorry, this wireless module here is capable of uh, supporting the latest Bluetooth uh, low energy uh, wireless standard. So it will be Bluetooth LE 5.2. It's certified up to 5.2 there. It will support Zigbee. It also supports Thread, supports proprietary 2.4, and it also supports uh, multi-protocol applications as well. Also, if, if, if you want, if you need to do, you know, Bluetooth and Zigbee at the same time, uh, this device is designed to, to, to support that as well. Um, so in terms of the size itself, you know, as I was mentioning, so this is going to be a seven by seven package. It's really, really small. The size is exactly the same as uh, seven by seven as what we have today on a chip down QFN device there, uh, except that all of the passive components around the seven by seven is integrated in the, in this, uh, in this module here, in this SIP module itself. Awesome. Yeah, that, that's very cool. Uh, a huge impact on size, huge impact from the pre-certification aspect, um, and, and really easy on the RF hardware design front um, with that module. So th thank you so much, Will. Thanks for showing us that. As you mentioned, um, you can get started now. All of the information, all of the software, the documents is online for those modules. The link will be in the description. Um, and, and Will, I just want to thank you so much for, for being with us, showing us the modules. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in to learn more. As always, we've got exciting topics coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining us.